To understand how to use the Peak Day app fully, let's talk about cervical fluid, also referred to as cervical mucus or simply mucus. Why is mucus important for your fertility? There are several key signs you should observe to help you track your fertility. One of the most important fertility signs is cervical mucus. So, what is cervical mucus? After a woman menstruates, in the first half of her cycle, her estrogen level builds. Estrogen causes, among other effects, the production of cervical fluid or mucus from cervical glands. Cervical mucus is a natural and clean body fluid, like tears or saliva. Cervical mucus is necessary and important for a woman's healthy, functioning reproductive system. It is an aid to fertility that provides a swimming medium and nutrients for sperm. In the presence of mucus, sperm can survive for up to five days. Without mucus, sperm only survive a few hours. Mucus is also a filter against abnormal sperm, so they do not reach the egg. Cervical mucus typically appears for the first time in a cycle after menstruation ends, but may appear mixed in with the end of menstrual flow. There are two ways to observe cervical mucus during your cycle, mucus sensations and mucus characteristics. First, let's look at mucus sensations. What are mucus sensations and how do you chart them in the app? Peak Day gives you the option to choose one of five mucus sensations every day when you chart. You can choose dry, moist, wet, slippery, or wet slippery. Mucus sensations are what you sense or feel in the vaginal area during the day, or what you feel when wiping in the bathroom. Like a runny nose or a dry mouth, you don't have to see or touch anything to feel the different sensations. At the beginning of a cycle, if no mucus is present, a woman feels dry externally at the vaginal area. When wiping after urination, she will feel slight friction on the skin. When mucus first appears in a cycle, a woman can sense it as a damp, moist, or sticky sensation in the vulvar area. Kind of like how your skin feels after walking briskly or getting outside on a hot, humid day. As estrogen builds and a woman's cycle progresses toward ovulation, cervical mucus develops increasingly fertile sensations. More fertile mucus causes a wet sensation in the genital area. More fertile mucus also feels slippery when wiping. How do you chart mucus sensations? It is very simple to chart and record mucus sensations in the Peak Day app or even on paper. If no sensations are felt, you can chart dry or a D for that day. If any kind of moist sensation was felt during the day, like it is damp or only slightly wet, you can chart moist or an M. Use moist for all sensations that are neither dry nor wet. If a wet or slippery sensation is felt during the day, and especially when wiping, you can chart wet or slippery. You would enter a W or SL on a paper chart. When both sensations are observed on the same day, chart wet slippery. Now, let's talk about mucus characteristics and how to chart them. Peak Day gives you the option of choosing one of three mucus characteristics. You can choose nothing, tacky, or stretchy. While the mucus sensations are what you feel, mucus characteristics are what you can see or touch. Remember, test fresh mucus off the toilet paper. Do not consider mucus characteristics seen in underwear. Look for mucus characteristics when you use the bathroom. Check your toilet paper for any kind of mucus throughout the day. When it first appears in a cycle, cervical mucus can look thick, tacky, pasty or clumpy, and appears opaque or yellowish in color on toilet paper. It may have some stretch, but will not stretch repeatedly or very far without breaking when tested between the fingers. As ovulation approaches, mucus resembles raw egg white. It will stretch repeatedly when tested between the fingers. This more fertile mucus continues to appear until a woman ovulates. After ovulation, cervical mucus becomes less fertile until it may dry up entirely by the end of a woman's cycle. To chart mucus characteristics, use a simple three-step scale. If no mucus was seen on the toilet paper in the bathroom, choose none or a N for no characteristics. 
If you observe any kind of tacky mucus throughout the day, chart tacky or a T. This includes all thick, clumpy, pasty, yellowish, or opaque observations, and for all mucus that does not resemble raw egg white. If mucus resembles raw egg white on toilet paper or is repeatedly stretchy when stretch tested between the fingers, choose to chart stretchy or an S. Less fertile mucus after ovulation, if it appears at all, looks and feels the same as less fertile mucus before ovulation. You should observe your mucus periodically throughout the day, but only record your most fertile observation of the day on your chart. So why is it important to understand your mucus to use the Peak Day app? Knowing and being able to interpret your body's fertility signs is a building block to personal good health and is essential in learning the phases of your cycle, when your peak day occurs, and to postpone or achieve pregnancy. When you enter your mucus sensations and characteristics into peak day, the app helps determine what phase of your cycle and how fertile you are. Look at the other videos about cycles, temperature, and how to chart using peak day. Remember, Peak Day is your partner for a happier, healthier, smarter fertility.